Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back, we've been here before this is the Pomeranian Dukes of Pomerania or Pomeranian Dukes I forgot the name in English Zamek Książąt Pomorskich, okay? <laughs> in Szczecin, this is where I am right now and I want to show you something my main purpose why I arrived to Poland was to get new passport and I got it it took about a week because I talked to some really nice people and they've helped me to speed it up you know you have to talk to people in a nice way and they help you so I wanted to record a video for you here they have some renovations going on probably you can see the cars right there uh, but it's a very nice place and during summertime, when it's when it's warmer, on the stage right here you have a lot of perf performances, and you have here uh, places to sit down. There is restaurant there, right there. There is a movie theater, and you can come here and enjoy actually more alternative movies, not so much mainstream movies like the big screen Hollywood. Very few of those. Now we are walking under those arcades, I think you say? And I want to sit down and give you a few news from Poland. There is a place to sit down. By the way, here you see the tower, this tower. You can climb on the top of it. And then you have magnificent view of Szczecin. So bear with me, everyone. Here is, by the way, another stage during spring summer when it's warmer and we will get into a few things so the first thing I want to talk to you about is the survey that has been done very very recently sorry guys bear with me this is very spontaneous recording <laughs> that survey was done uh, the name of the website actually it was uh, Polish Associated Press, it's called Media Room, and the survey was uh, about the title of the survey, the topic of the survey was, do you know where to run, where to escape? So they have asked, I don't know the number of how many Polish citizens, if they know where to escape just in case of emergency, uh, that, you know, starts with W. And the response was like this. Let me read this to you. So, do you know where there is a shelter near your place of residence? The survey asked. 65.8% responded, definitely not. 15.5% responded, rather no, I don't think so. 8.4% rather yes. 7.8 definitely yes and 2.4 i don't know it's hard to say so in my opinion i actually add it up <laughs> it in my opinion it's like this 75.8 that say they don't know definitely and those who say i don't think so which means let's face it they don't know and then you have those who say uh rather yes but that means like they maybe don't want to admit like rather yes yes or no so when you add all of this it means 83.7 percent of people don't know where to escape in case of the emergency now another news for you i have is about uh you know poland is giving a lot to ukraine we know this already not just tanks and stuff of that nature but also like buses and now we have 60 metro trains that um, Warsaw will give for Ukraine so the article is I think it's from official uh, Warsaw's website it says Warsaw and Kiev signed an agreement on the transfer of services of 81 trains to the capital of Ukraine in total, it will be 60 cars worth over 
40 million złotych. Uh, that is about 9.2 million dollars. Squad number seven will be the first to arrive in Kiev later this month. Yep, everyone. Metro. 60 trains. Okay, now one more thing, but I think I want to move to another area. So let me just put my brand new passport. Mission accomplished into my purse and let's go here okay this is the article thanks to Maciej Maciak my favorite journalist again as always I say by the way before I continue look how cool I've showed you this before but some of you are not uh, watching my channel yes this is the miniature of the castle it's pretty cool so the article is actually from a uh, foreign website it's called foreign foreign policy and the title of this article is it's time to bring back the polish lithuanian union and it speaks about the history of poland and lithuania and how it was uh, a union and i will read to you part of it you can read the entire article down below this video so it says a political construct created nearly 700 years ago offers solution for europe today the argument for an explicit political union between the two countries is not based on nostalgia but on shared interests to be sure due to four countries of common history within the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, much of today's Ukraine and Belarus shares more of its past with Poland than it does with Russia. Fast forward to the, pre to the present and to the near future, however, both countries are facing a threat from Russia. Today, Poland is a, number, is a member, yeah, it's a number too, but today Poland is a member and a good standing uh, of the EU and NATO, while Ukraine is keen to join both organizations. Even if Ukraine's war against Russia ends with a decisive Ukrainian victory, I'm just reading this, driving degraded Russian forces out of the country, Kiev faces a potentially decades uh, of struggle to join the EU. So they are suggesting, let me see, I have one more page. They are suggesting that Poland and Ukraine should unite. The poorly governed, unstable countries of the Western Balkans, prone to Russian and Chinese interference, provide a warning about um, prolonged candidate status and European indecision might lead. So they are putting this out already in those articles that Poland and Ukraine should be Ukropol, right? This is again subconsciously programming people. But that's all I have for you today guys. Uh, I had a little bit hectic time with some organizations for my next journey and regrouping myself a little bit. It can be tiring when you travel like I do, but I think soon I will settle in one place. Meanwhile, before I end this video, I would like to show you a very beautiful side of this castle. So this is the old street here behind me. You see the castle here, but there is this incredible site. Let's see the wall, you see this? So let's get there. Some of you have seen this before, but not everyone. Amazing, huh? The gate. Anyway, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I'll be back soon with another video. And yeah, make sure to join me on Locals, please. It's free of charge. If you want to support me, you can do it uh, there as well. I appreciate it very much. Also, join my mailing list, follow me on Instagram, check out my books for children and my novel. 
and what else oh yes rumble i i started to repost things on rumble again because i didn't really care for rumble much but now i think i should focus on rumble a little more and what else patreon is there paypal if you feel like giving me a dollar hala hala <laughs> that's about it lots of love everyone i will see you in the next video bye guys